in this session we are going to discuss about how do we interact with database in uh, asp.net core web application we are going to learn how do we connect with the database and use entity framework core by using entity framework core in asp.net core with mvc framework we are going to learn consuming and uh, interacting with the service so initially we are going to discuss detailly about how do we create the connection with the database using entity framework core then we can implement the crud operations on data let's see how to handle this already i have a database in a sql server in my sql server databases i have a database mvc db in this database i have a table tbl products and the tbl products are it's having the fields product id which is a primary key field name and price now we need to map to this database table and to handle communication with the table i already have some sample data in this table and uh, we will try to interact with the table and see how the com communication works using entity framework core in our mvc core so already i have an uh, mvc core application it's an asp.net core application enabled with mvc now in this core application first step is to define the connection string to communicate with the database where to define the connection string the connection string is defined in app settings dot json in app settings dot json we are configuring the connection string it's a json file and how do we configure the connection string we have to do that by using a new attribute property that is a connection strings this connection strings property will have another property that is the connection string name connection string name i will give as products connection okay and the value for the connection string will be the connection string required to communicate with your database so in app settings dot json we are adding the connection string in a json format by adding a new property called connection strings in that we can add multiple connection strings currently we are adding a connection string by name products connection and it should have the value that specifies which data source it is going to connect so i am using data source data source is uh, local and uh, initial catalog or you can say database database is mvc db user id and uh, password as per your connection you have to define the connection string once the connection string is ready this is the connection string once the connection string is ready you can use this connection string to interact with the database so first we configured the connection string in app settings dot json next after configuring the connection string we have to add model classes which are responsible for mapping to the database table after configuring the connection string we need a mapping for interacting with the database table for that i am adding a new model class i am adding a class into the models folder this class should map to the products table so i will name it as product okay and uh, in order to configure the mapping to the database table we need to import the annotation library using a system 
system dot component model data annotation schema and we have system component model dot data annotations now i need to map this to a table and the table is tbl products and according to the table and its fields i need a primary key field so which will be product id product id and uh, another string name and one more we have price decimal nullable price etc yeah so we defined the model class in order to map to the database table you can observe that in the database table i have the columns product id which is primary key integer and not null and you can see it is uh, mapping to that so we are mapping to that here and uh, you can observe the name is worker nullable and the same we are mapping here and you can see the price money which is nullable that's the reason i need to make it as null okay once we defined the table to map here the model class we need another model class which is responsible for handling the connection with the data source so generally the connection with the data source is handled by using a context class already what are the library uh, requirements for communicating with database we discussed in entity framework introduction you can go through that in the videos here we are we have to add a context class which is responsible for handling communication with the database so how do we add a context class in core let's see add a new class and uh, we need to make it as yep yeah, add a new class here i am adding a new class and uh, let's make it as products context products context that is the context class now in this context class i need to configure the connection with data source by using entity framework core so first you need to enable entity framework core so that you can use the entity framework core library because the context class can be defined with context behavior by implementing the context base class db context base class and it is in entity framework core library so we need to go to dependencies manage nuget packages in the nuget packages we have to search browse we have to search for the package entity framework core i am searching for entity framework core compatible with sql server so select entity framework core sql server and the latest table is 3 according to our framework it is 2.2 because the current framework i am using here is 2.2 and install so we are installing entity framework core library the entity framework core library is installed once the entity framework core library is installed next step you have to import that into the context class you added so using microsoft dot entity framework core this entity framework core will provide a db context which this context class has to implement so now we created a context class which implements the db context but actually this db context requires a set of context options which are responsible for handling the connection string which connection string to use and uh, the configuration for the connection string we have to define in middleware that we are going to do in the next step here initially we have to make this context to use the middleware context options so that for that we have to create a constructor for this context 
so that is products context constructor we created a constructor products context this constructor have to use db context options actually these db context options will be passed from the middleware that we will do now this db context options must be for the products context class and it should have a reference options that means in middleware we will create a configuration for products context which will define the connection string to be used by the library and that connection string will be passed into these options which should be loaded at the time of the object created for this context class so how you can load these options into memory for that we need to add a base class constructor in the base class constructor you can pass these options options so what happens is from the middleware we will pass the connection string into the context class the connection string will be loaded in memory when you create an object for this context so later anywhere you create an object for this con context it will load the connection string into memory where the connection string is configured it is configured in options now into this options how you pass the parameters that we will see initially the context is ready here i want this context to interact with a table then we have to define a db set this db set is for product this db set is for product and by the name products table products table with a get set accessor here so we have a context class now this context must be used by the middleware which will tell the connection and the connection string so let's go to the middleware settings that is in apps we have startup.cs go to startup.cs here we have to import two libraries one is microsoft entity framework core library another i need to import the modules models library which is in uh, our project entity our project is um, ef core ef core demo dot models from where we can access the context now you can see here after configuring the services for mvc in the middleware here we have to configure the services configure the services for db context you have to define the option as so db context options here that means uh, here we need to configure use db context so add db context and uh, what is the context name products context we have to add products context and this products context will use options and uh, the options will use the connection string options dot use sql server so this sql server can use get connection string that means sql server options actually can use the connection string the connection string usually comes from configuration configuration has a connection string we have a method get connection string and get connection string and configure the connection string name so the middleware the middleware is using the services in the services we are adding the context and the context is using the options it will use the sql server connection string and the connection string name it has to use is products connection products connection that's how we have to define the connection string once the connection string is defined now your entire context is ready you can use this context to interact and communicate with the database that we are going to see in the next session thank you